For Nico, your weekend lawyer is all things legal. Um, you can call us at a law firm at 504-837-1304, 504-837-1304 if you got any um, if you got any questions off air. Um, also, if you want to call us about any advice regarding flood, just ask for us, and um, I'll be glad to uh, ask for Doug. A couple of texts? Yeah, let's go to... Um, oh, you want to take the phone let's, let's, let's go. You want to go to Scott? Let's go to Scott. Let's go to Scott. 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 Hey, Scott, you on all things legal with Doug Centurion, Albert Nico. Good morning, gentlemen. How are you? Good. Hey, Scott. Hope I didn't offend you. No, you did not. Actually, I just thought I could uh, share some information your audience might find you. Please do. Thank you. Okay, let me first say that I own a remediation company, mm -hmm. and I am a state licensed remediator. I'm also a mold inspector. Um, I would like to say a couple of things. Right. A mold certificate is essentially a worthless piece of paper. It's not going to tell you that the house is free of mold going into the future. Mm-hmm. All it's saying is that at this moment in time, the person taking the test has verified it or determined that there's nothing else going on at that moment. So as it relates to future real estate transactions, mm -hmm. a certificate really doesn't cover you for anything because, I mean, as a remediator, I have no control how, how you maintain your house going into the future. Very good point. So the other thing is, I think the caller, and this is what really got me to call in, you had a guy saying there's an enzyme that you can spray that eats mold. Right. Um, so there's really only one way to remove mold from a house, and that's source removal. Source removal means gutting, vacuuming, hair scrubbing. That's it. You can't spray anything on it to take care of mold. Mold that is, you know, quote unquote dead, it's still an allergen. Live mold, dead mold, inactive mold, whatever it is, it still can cause allergies and it can affect your breathing and is, you know it's, it can be bad for your health mm -hmm. so and then the final thing is is i heard a story and i don't know if this is just a rumor but there is there are people going around selling occupancy certificates really yeah <laughs> that's a complete scam that's a complete scam wow what everybody needs to know in the flood situation is get the wet materials out of your house as fast as possible. Agreed. Um, mold will grow on wet material within 48 hours. So it's not the end of the world, but you got to act quickly. Right, yeah, because the longer you wait, the more the longer it festers and continues to grow and get further into your home. Yeah, mold is a symptom of a, of a moisture problem. That's all it is. Mold is growing. Mold is natural. All right. Mold spores are everywhere. Correct me, all Scott. All they're looking for is moisture and food. And that's what we have now. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, there, there is a, uh, a mold remediation license, or is it a mold testing license? So it's a little strange with the way the law is set up. Mm -hmm. To be a remediator, you have to have a mold license. Right. To be a tester, you have to have a pump and a sample kit. Okay. So uh, that's something that the state licensing board obviously needs to deal with. Yes. Um, but yes. mold remediators, anything above, I think it's 10 square feet, mm -hmm. or any, any mold, mold more than 10 square feet cumulative, has to be remediated in the state of Louisiana by a licensed contractor. Anything less than that, you know, your general contractor, your handyman can typically fix it. There you Individual go. homeowners can fix their own problems. That's their problem. It's their house. Mm -hmm. But if we're dealing with, you know, a third party fixing your house, got to be a state licensed contractor you can find out who we are if you go to the louisiana uh licensing board mm -hmm. the contractor's licensing board i believe the uh, website it, is or the acronym is lslbc right louisiana um state licensing board for contractors lslbc dot, dot gov uh, i'm sorry dot, dot louisiana, louisiana dot, dot gov. gov yeah yeah i found that out last night mm -hmm. and and you know we've got a lot of people coming in from out of town yeah. Um, you know, just please be careful. So let me ask you, Scott, do you do you carry some sort of license? I'm a mold remediation. No, no, like when you when you show up at a, at a residence, do you have some sort of license, some sort of proof that uh, you're licensed? Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, we, then they I will. don't have like a license in my wallet. What we have is we have our license number printed out. Uh -huh. Our website has our license number. Perfect. Our Facebook page has our license number. You can look up my name or my company's name. 
on the contractor's website. I'm actually the I'm I'm the, the responsible party for our license. So you a hey, Scott, party, Scott yeah. since you gave us this great information, you can give us a shout out on your company. There you go. Oh, the name of the company is Advanta Clean. We have a uh, franchise here in New Orleans, and we have a franchise in Baton Rouge. There Perfect. you go. We appreciate the great great information. Thanks, Scott. Scott. All right, we've got to go to break. Doug, Sincere, Albert, Nico, your weekend lawyers, all things legal. We'll be right back after this brief timeout.